Hello! Welcome back to Color and Canvas. Uh, today I'm doing something that is going to be a lot of fun, I hope. Uh, something I have not done before. There's a wonderful fluid artist uh, named Chris Schneider, and Chris does these fabulous paintings that are just all these beautiful stripes of color. And I saw a video the other day, and it inspired me to give this a try. So I'm going to put all of this rainbow of colors into these cups and it's going to be fantastic, we hope. It won't be nearly as good as Chris's, but we're going to try. Um, I have actually made notes of which colors I want in which cups. I'm trying to put a little contrast in between, but all the cups are going to have like five different colors in them, starting with one, ending with another, and I'm just trying to get a little variety across the canvas. All right, so here goes. Let's layer our cups. I'm going to start from this end to that end. We'll start with red. Now, what is in these cups? Well, these are my regular acrylic paints mixed with Floetrol, water, and glue, and a little bit of extra water in this case because I want them a little bit thinner. I don't want them very, very thick. But at the same time, you know, we don't want them watery either. The one color that's in common throughout is our gold. That's going to go into every single cup that we have here. So a little bit of white. We're going to try and fill each cup to the top. I may have to play around with it if I've not put in quite enough paint, but that's pretty good. Cup number one. That's the red cup. We call it the red cup because the red is on the bottom. So there we go. We got the red. Next is blue. We have two colors of blue. I'm calling blue the dark blue. So we'll go in with several different colors with our blue, our gold again. I'm going to move this over. Maybe I'll move these down here. I realize I'm putting my hand in front of the canvas constantly. That's probably distracting for you guys. So we'll, we'll carry on this way. Okay, a little bit of light blue. And our last color is black, because we are definitely going to have a little bit of black in here as well. It's going to make beautiful, beautiful contrast. All right, that's our next one. Next, we're going in with green.
here goes. This is going to be fun. I'm so excited. All right. I'm just going to flip cup each of them one by one. Here we go. I got to kind of stand on this angle so that I can see what I'm doing. Whoops. <laughs> that went flying. Boy, was that cup ever full. That's good. I'm going to... Oops. I did not do such a good job, so I'm going to drag the paint down here. I might have to drag them. See? When you do something new, you don't always do a spectacular job. Oh, well. <laughs> Put it away. I didn't do so good. Let's try and do better on the next one. I may put them all down side by side and just do them all at once. Just do them all at once and see what happens. Okay, one, two, three. Pouring down this way. We're going to have to tilt everything in this direction. So with any luck, these ones will do a little bit better. Oh, it's crazy. feeling extremely out of control right now. That's not a good feeling for me. Oh, look at that. We have a lot of blue going on here. Because it didn't do anything that I thought it was going to do. Well. There we are. <laughs> there it is. I don't know if there's enough paint on here to do what we need to do. I think what I will do is put a little bit of my pouring medium in these bare spots just to encourage the paint to flow. And this is my pouring medium, which is Floetrol, glue, and water. And that's just going to encourage a little bit of movement on the canvas. All right, so these have been sitting for a moment. I'm just going to spread out this pouring medium just to wet all the dry spots on the canvas. And then we're going to tilt this. Just looked into the camera and I realized that, you know, it looks like a bunch of uh, upside down bottles on screen. It's not what it looks like to me when I'm looking at it, but I think from the perspective of the video, that's what it looks like. So how fun is that? A bunch of pop bottles. Okay, well, this is as good as it's getting right now. So let's tilt this canvas and see how we do, shall we? I'm gonna tilt this way first. See what we can do. I think we're gonna have enough paint. It's gonna be very strange. I'm going to just encourage this paint along here on the edge. And this one too, because there's a lot of it dripping off, so we can get that edge done. Get some of this yellow and white moving over. I like to do that with my finger. I just feel that I have control better to get the paint to the edge than I do with a tool. But you got to just keep wiping off that glove. You don't want to be transferring colors, so there we go. So all the paints are to the edges. That's beautiful. And now let's see what we can do about getting them this way. Getting our stripes down. Now it's moving really, really fast because that pouring medium was very, very thin. Okay? That is the reason for that. Should have used something a little bit thicker, but I didn't. 
because this is my first try at this and I'm kind of messing it up a little bit. But let's see how we do. Ooh, just see that? That actually looks really pretty. So let's pour some more of this down. We can see wherever we have resistance. Let's just go in and fix that resistance. Let's pull out the paint where it isn't moving. Because all of this is probably going to end up over the edge anyhow. So we're not going to agonize over those little details right now. And let's get our purple over here. All right, let's tilt. You can see a lot of it is moving quickly and some of it is not, but we're getting there. We're getting there. yellow mess we have down here. There we go. And I'm just going to touch up that side. Okay. Well, that's not what I was expecting <laughs> at all. I'm going to torch it because there's a lot of bubbles in here. And a lot of cells and a lot of stuff going on. And there's still a ton of paint on here. So we'll tilt see what happens. It's really weird. It's colorful and strange. All right. So I'm going to pour off some of that messed up stuff. Even though it's really groovy, maybe we want to keep the messed up stuff. There's too much paint on here anyways. It does have to go. So let's see what happens if it goes. I want to get some of that red off that corner without getting this all tilted. Oh, that's a little crooked now. Let's See if we can get it back over that way a bit. Well, it's not so bad now. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird, but I, I, I kind of like it. It's a little blurry because those cells have stretched out an awful, awful lot. But those could be some really, really cool embellishments at a later time. So there we go. And there was too much gold. If anybody was wondering why I was putting in all that gold, there was too much gold. Most definitely too much. But yeah, overall, it's really kind of groovy looking, and I think we're going to keep it. We'll see how it dries. It could be very, very interesting when it dries. Some of those uh, little details may tighten up. So, uh, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll let you see what it looks like when it's dry. And if we embellish it, I'll let you see that too. Have a great day. Bye-bye.